Hi guys. Uh, now this is my favorite machine, the HPC Silka Kodaki uh, 1200. Uh, this is a very old one, and uh, I had just calibrated this uh, a while ago, and uh, it took me half a day uh, by doing a trial and error because we do, I don't know if there is a calibration uh, card for this, but I just used the card on recalibrating it again after it was uh, misaligned due to some uh, usage uh, which uh, force usage I mean or maybe uh, beyond the delicate uh, care of this machine so I would like to give you a tip to in order to take care of this machine if you have one and also to give you a very very long service life this machine is already in our position uh, maybe more than 25 years so so then I have learned a lot on uh, trying to recalibrate it and that's one thing I will try to impart to you okay folks so bear with me and this will be useful very useful for you if you have this kind of machine this is HPC Silka code the key 1200 All right okay guys the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, to give you a tour of the inside of this HPC Silka 1200 okay uh, first thing uh, I have to do is uh, Take off the power cord and next uh, take out the sc uh, screw here. Uh, take out the card and we will tilt this machine slowly. There it goes. Okay. Okay. Now that is how it is. The parts are there inside, and I give you a tour about it, explaining what is the function of its gear and how to lubricate it to give you a smooth uh, run. Okay. So okay guys, now I will teach you how to minimize those uh, fatal mistakes. Let's take this lever out, right? These two levers should be out. The reason is with the lever on, you can run it hard or you can run it fast and that is one cause of the gear inside to jump overboard the same here so without this uh, lever here after you finish cutting a key or after you finish a job always remember to put that uh, space needle in the center The reason for that is that whenever another guy using it and he turn it either left or right he has a space a uh, safe space before he could vision where the needle is uh, rather than if the needle is already on the bottom here and he turn it further down by uh, let's say by turning the dial uh, recklessly that will cause also the gear to 
get derailed or, uh, or jump overboard okay so always put this a uh, space dial pointer at the middle every time you finish your job and about this uh, and about this uh, Peter it doesn't matter because uh, that's always lay the lay on the very most doesn't need to be in the middle so this gear uh, this uh, Peter uh, needle here doesn't need to be what we are concerned of is only this space needle okay just put it in the middle that's it so you are safe the next time or anybody using it uh, when he turn it he turn it backward and look like he is resetting yes. so I hope that will help a lot on taking care of your uh, Kodaki cutting machine okay thanks for watching and good day